Perfect. Okay. Hello, everybody. We will try to record now video in English. Uh, Anna, me and Mr. Julian, Super Julian. And today we're going to talk about some tactical uh, exercises, dynamic chess, and some interesting moments from the games of Anna Matnadze. So, okay, Anna, uh, I will try to ask you some questions also, when interesting, which I would like to know about the game. And we will arrive to some uh, interesting combinations when, in the moment when it happened. So, let's start from the game uh, against your friend, Kvetadze uh, Sopio. Uh, so, you are playing with black, and here we see a classical approach, flexible approach. White didn't play yet d4, but it could be played in any moment, transposing to the uh, some kind of King Queen's Indian or Slav variations. Okay. And uh, yeah, I asked you if uh, bishop e7 was like your regular move and you said that it was just like a, mm, a preparation to surprise the opponent. Because as I know, as not a professional player of Slav, here the main idea is to put bishop a little bit more active on the b6. So, okay, let's go to the middle game. Uh, it's like a maneuvering fight. Both sides avoid uh, close contact. I think uh, 98 is exactly showing that case that if you want to win a game with black, you have to play risky. So pawn takes, pawn takes. Well, right now, nothing special is happening. Both are fighting for the central squares. Yeah, d4, very natural. White leaves the right to maybe create uh, hanging pawns. Um, in a necessary moment. So queen e7, bishop a3, knight d6, knight g4. And here, this is the moment when I would like to ask you about the move c4. Um, I, will, I will answer, first of all, the way I understand this move, and then I'm interested what were your thoughts and what you think generally about this situation and the move c4. Now, um, as I see that generally, White will get probably the pair of bishops. Uh, I thought that the theoretical fight, I mean opening fight, uh, was uh, finished in the White's favor with a positional advantage because of this factor. And also, especially when I see the move c4, it's like you are giving up the center, but you are trying to fight now for the court play on the queen side. Very risky and very um, aggressive play. So, keeping in mind that we are losing the pair of bishops and after c4 and some tradings, white will have the center, the first feeling, the first strategic feeling is that white is better here. But we never have to forget there is a dynamic moment in chess and in some situations we can just ignore the strategic rules. So. What was your feeling, your calculation, expectations from the from the move c4, and what were your plans when you played this? What were your thoughts, if you remember? Please, could you could, could you tell us about this? Yes, uh, completely agree <laughs> with your evaluation, and um, of course, white is better, and uh, I would say white is uh, okay, not not uh, slightly better, but. Uh, quite um, quite a big advantage. Oh, okay, not so big to... Yeah, positional to advantage, yeah. That's, uh... Yeah, it, it's it's very pleasant to play this position with white, just without any, any problems. But, uh, of course, this means nothing when you are playing a serious game and when you know your opponent, of course, uh, since childhood and uh, you have played a lot of games. So, um, first my, my thought was uh, to save my bishop, but I didn't like it mm -hmm. because I wanted this bishop to stay on this diagonal. So I, I would have some more space for, for my bishop, which I wanted to... to Activate. So if I play bishop uh, h4, she will 
instantly play this and then bishop here and yeah. it is what what i want to avoid yeah, of and of course when i saw this i just wanted to give up on my bishop and uh, create this contraplay as you say here and of course to avoid uh, opening this bishop of, mm -hmm. of my opponent mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to um, more than a counterplay, uh, like uh, on on a flank counter counterplay. I wanted just to close this bishop. Okay. My main idea was to cl close this bishop and then to leave this another bishop here, and um, they would not be um, that active anymore. I mean. Okay. Okay. Because when we are working with Julian. We normally say that whenever you play c4 and gain the space on the queen side, be careful. You have to make sure that there's nothing happens in the center quickly, or at least if you play this type of moves, you have to keep the control on the e4. Right now, black keeps control on the e4, but it's like a, you know a little bit shaky subject because uh, you can lose that control in any moment. So I would say c4 is a very aggressive and quite um, risky play for uh, like three results. Like I want to win. This, this type of move is the c4. Okay, um, so of course white took the bishop and the way she's acting is a very natural. And I will I will say a little secret. Uh, I've 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 seen these games a little bit, and I've worked a little bit with these games before the video, and I know a little bit more, right? I'm not just like a genius and finding some moves here, but position is uh, very tricky, very tricky. The first feeling, really, my first feeling was that Black's position is very bad, but then I realized that there are so many dynamic motivations that to prove with white that you have a big advantage here you have to make the series of the only moves and dynamic moves otherwise to play in just a positional style is not enough because black has enough potential it's like a clash of a strategic play and the positional play uh, sorry dynamic play yeah, so for yeah. example here one of the best move was e4 uh, yes. that, that, that looks very strange. I mean, you would never do e4 here. I mean, you have to take, uh, the first thought is this, and had, have the, the complete domination on the sen in the center, enjoying the pair of bishops. And the next move your opponent is playing probably would do any grandmaster in a blitz game. Yeah. It is a4. That's it. Yes, yeah, just to stop my pawns. Yeah, right. I'm just mm -hmm. neutralizing your pawns. And now mm -hmm. it's my turn. But the problem is that her turn is never will be at the board because you are getting dynamic activity and that strategic factors are eliminated or at least neutralized, right? Uh, as I remember, she should play something like um, e4. e4 and... directly, yeah. Yeah, and there was like... A I can never play this because uh, e5 is coming. Yeah, and then she should do like this. Yeah. And there was also some dynamic options like a f3 and to open the position instead of uh, putting yeah. some control. But it's extremely... But you never do like... Uh, never make these moves on, on board. Now that's because difficult. It's dynamic. It's yeah, difficult that's very difficult. You are feeling that your your uh, advantage is uh, strategic because uh, you have the pair of, of bishops. So you never want to go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But sometimes it's like it's an illusion, and this is what happening in this game. I I remember, and of course I read the book of the Dorfman and his uh, theories about the dynamic play and strategic play and clash of these two type of chess. And I think this is one of the perfect examples. It's like white is completely winning from a strategic point of view, but black is okay. Because now we are activating our pieces. Knight gets to the b4, knight gets yeah. to the d3. 
Okay, still black, uh, sorry, white could uh, probably have the advantage here. There were some precise moves like rook e1 and quickly preparing e5, e4. But um, they think, okay, I'll just play queen b1, protect the bishop, prepare e4. And, and even d5 maybe. Yeah, even d5. 5 yeah, is the, yeah, the idea. Yeah. But, but uh, not, not now because I have to play this. Or I can play this. So. Yeah, you have this, right? Yeah, you you have this. Yeah, you have you have. Rook c one is necessary first. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And too many tempos for. Right, for that's the problem of this strategy. It's a little bit slow. Yeah, mm -hmm. Julian, uh, one question. What do you think? What happens if White will play here e four? Is this a good move? I'm not sure he heard you. Julian, can, can you hear me? Yeah? Okay, okay. So, what do you think about uh, E4? It looks very tempting. Is this good? Julian was today a little bit nervous. He said, I don't know English. What happens if I don't understand? I don't know what to say. Oh, we can't hear you, Julian. Julian, wait a second. Uh, you are muted. We can't hear you. No, we can't hear you. No. Okay, okay, no, don't, don't worry. Just make a move at the board the move you think is correct. Important is that you hear us. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 yeah. Unfortunately for for white, this move is not so good because there is a, yeah, the problems. It's, it's not, not ready yet, the situation, yeah, okay. So bishop c3 was played here. Knight d5 looks logical, and rook mm -hmm. c1. Anna, question yeah. for you. Um, did you already see what was coming in a few moves from here, or you were just you were? Hello. Oh, ah, yeah. now. Yeah, now yeah. We're, now we're here. Yeah, okay. But Anna, I want I want to say. Yeah. Uh, at this this position, you don't have the the bishop barrel because you can do this. Yeah, and I win. Yes, yes, but still, white is better in this position. White is better. But it's a very nice yes. action. Yeah. I did not think. I like it very much. <laughs> yeah, this is very important resource. One of the best, best, best resource offering by computer, by the way. And, really, uh, I am. Yeah, yeah. By the way, one of the best. But with the correct series of the move. It's kind of why it keeps advantage, but it was hard. But Anna, when you played here knight d5, did you already see what was coming in a new in a few moves, or it was still like an intuitional improvement of the positions? Uh, yes, I saw the idea, uh, but I didn't calculate. I had not calculated yet which one to, I mean, which um, way to use to sacrifice something, but uh, yes, yes, I, I saw that you something saw was cooking <laughs> Yeah, okay, so okay, good. I saw the idea, yeah, yeah. Okay, so white played rook c1. I think it's very natural, and uh, the, the one of the strong sides of this combination is that black is playing natural moves, it's like, okay, you are improving the position, mm -hmm. and white didn't feel that something bigger was coming. So white played here bishop b2, and suddenly they still want to win a game from a strategic point of view. Solid construction in the center, pair of bishops, weak pawn on the c4, no rook c8, and seems like just outplaying opponent strategically. 
but we must never forget about the dynamism and the activity. Julian, what would you play in this position? Mm. Terrasound. On this position, I will play a uh, knight b4. Knight b4. With the moves, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, it, and if knight takes c4, I, I have. If knight takes c4, I have bishop e4. E4. Ah, okay. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. By, by the way, by the way, this is funny that I have gave this exercise to for my pupils. Mm -hmm. And I think majority of them said here night before. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but Anna, come on, explain us what's coming here. What's happening actually? What's happening? Okay, I like very much night before. I just didn't think about night before. Not only because I had seen the idea, the, the idea I had, uh, but also because um, because night before I had already had on my oi oi oi, I touched something. No, that's fine. I mean, no, <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, it will be it will be back. Okay, okay, it's back. Position is back. Um, Yes, not, not only because of that, but also because um, night before um, I had already there this, uh, I mean... Yeah, just few few this, moves ago you had night only yeah, before. Yeah. Just two, one move ago I had night night yeah. before, so it would be only just, just repetition. So I just didn't think about that, but... Um, it's like... I think don't have uh, what I what I had thought my idea. I think night before is is very nice move. What do you play after night before? No, night before is it's okay. Black keeps dynamic balance, but it's not a winning move, right? <laughs> yeah, it is not a winning. Uh, yeah. Right away. But mm, when there are pieces okay. so away and passive, we could use everything it is. On the on this square, on this um, I mean on this flank, and uh, the king is uh, quite alone here. Yeah. So so okay, I played. Um, should I say what I played? Yeah, yeah. Just show to us what happened then. I just took here because I had seen that this was coming. Classical strike, by the way, also for the crossbot structures. Yeah. Yes, and everything is hanging, and then here everything is hanging, and um, but it is not over, right? Because it's very difficult to to make a right move here, because she took here. But if you take, for example, here, what is coming? Yeah. Let's see what is coming here. Julian, how we can finish this attack? What do you think? More or less, this, this the same should come, but um, probably there are many moves, more than one moves. Maybe rook take h3. Exactly. And then and then queen g5. And queen e3. There are so many checks that something's exactly. gonna happen here, right? Exactly. It's like um. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Check. Now here. Very nice position. Yeah. Yes, yes. It should be winning. Somehow it is winning. No, of it's, it's just can... a mate. No yeah. queen f3 and rook e8 and should be mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes. And also you can play. I think this is also winning. Queen f3 simply. Oh. 
Yeah, how how would Ah, okay, it first check? check and then bring the king out. Yeah, but as Botwinik was teaching us, uh, it's always better to choose the guaranteed, the forced line, right? Okay. So we prefer okay. checks. Checks yeah. and no way to blunder something. Okay. Yes, yes. The forced variation is this, the forced line is always the best yeah. and the simplest line. And uh, okay, she took here, but it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about d5 because there were so many calculations to, to be made. I was very more worried. But okay, I told myself when she plays d5, because she will play, I know, um, I will sit down and think Good about job, yeah. like 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> and I was already ready mentally for this moment. So I, I sat down and I really wasted my almost all my time to really calculate uh, what what you say the forced and the simple simple variation. Yeah, I mean we 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 don't stop on the sacrifices. We want to mm -hmm. open the king, right? Yeah, that queen h4 and yeah, yeah. come queen on, H4. take my rook, but open your king. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is like double attack. But... You are attacking here, you are attacking here. You cannot yeah. take here. Take no, it's, here it's, it's crashing, you right? Takes. Oh, one question. Yeah? Yes. It can be queen f4. Two. Queen f4. Maybe it works. Yeah, it could be. Well. It could be, yeah. It could be. Maybe. Uh, but but maybe he has this. this. Ah, bishop e5. Oh, I just uh, completely missed this. I just saw this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. just look at this. How many tricky things are in the position? Yes, it was horrible mm. position. I I remember really because it's a very nice idea of, of you that that you are asking about my feelings what? because I really remember what I was, what I felt during this game and it was exactly this that I I was. Um, preparing mentally myself that when she plays d5, if she doesn't play d5, then I don't bother. Uh, I can play any move and I don't bother, bother. I don't want to calculate it before. But when she plays d5, I have to really sit down and concentrate myself and um, Yeah, you can, you can right easily move. spoil the beautiful game just with the one move, queen f4, and yeah. that's it. But it looks so logical. But yeah, yeah, bishop e5, and this is the precise move. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is the only move. And now also this is hanging on the c4. Okay, okay. Capturing. And she took there, and uh, yeah. Um, it's also <coughs> very interesting. We're playing this and then back. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Yeah, but okay, this is also logical already. Now check and... Well, after knight c4, it's obvious that Bla uh, white king will not survive here. Especially, we know that these uh, different color bishops, when they are at the board and one side is attacking another, it's only like feeling an extra piece. It's not like, <laughs> oh, different color bishops, I will survive. No, you will survive in the, in the end game. But uh, when the queens are at the board, if you attack, then bishop is like extra bishop because there is yeah. no opponent to cover the light squares. So yeah, the the next part of the game is uh, yeah okay. Now I think we can we can leave this here. Very beautiful yeah. combination. Very beautiful combination. Yeah. I'm offering to jump to another example, and mm -hmm. another example is a game against uh, Klinova. Mm -hmm. And um, we we have to say that she's way too stronger than Herrell. Yeah, she's very experienced. Because she is very, uh, yeah. very, very strong, and she had, she has had um, a lot higher. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. And I have the idea here to put the position from a um, critical moment. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, yeah, to yeah. just because, skip the opening. Because the rest is not so, not so yeah, interesting. Yeah. I was just to to say that I was um, completely lost in the position because yeah. I played horribly. The opening didn't look well for yeah. you. Yeah. 
So and it was uh, I, I can put, for example, from from this moment the position, and the point is that strategically, again, strategically, White is uh, completely dominating because he has the key squares under control, and also before he's in a trouble. Uh, Black has to look for the knight a5 jumps and it's has to look for the d6 pawn. It's like, wow. And But it doesn't mean that if we are worse or even strategically lost, we shouldn't continue fighting and finding the resources. In this moment, exactly, if you put a lot of pressure at your opponents, the maximum pressure as you want, instead of just resigning, and starting to play in just like a relaxed mode, I'm just lost. Psychologically for the opponent, it's harder because he sees that you are not broken yet. And even maybe this will become the reason why opponent will start a little bit to be nervous even. So if you continue game, you have to always fight and find resources. So yeah, position is bad for black. We understand this. Um, and uh, the, the position is so good for white that I think it's it's not necessary to enter into these uh, tactical yeah. uh, complications. White could just play rook c1 and continue enjoying the position. Or anything. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. White can yeah. play anything and, anything and she is fine. But now she decided to trade the pawns somehow. And also I think you were happy that your bad bishop finally has gone from the board. Yes. So knight g6. And when I see this open king, already some some hope starts to be still alive right uh, inside somewhere in the in the in, in the in, in our mentality so uh, rook a8 still white is in control rook c1 rook a you are trying to find some weaknesses yes uh, i want to come here and yeah and here. and now white steals to control of course the all the weak squares and uh, g7 is kind of hanging and i think this is the moment when she kind of thought that everything is under control and she relaxed because she she's like uh, tied up the black pieces with the defense and my rooks are extremely passive, especially rook g8. I think rook g8 was the piece she was expecting the danger at the last place, right? Yeah, so, yeah, of course. So, thought, and myself too. Uh, I, was, too. I, I thought that I have to defend this pawn. So I, I played this uh, in a second. Yeah. But here... Look, it's it's uh, we are um, on move thirty nine, and uh, we we were short on time. But um, I think I had less time than her, and she was very calm, of course. And I was kind of okay. We pass the control, and then in a few moves, I have to maybe resign. So I played this. Ah, so it is a tournament when you are getting some additional time after forty moves, right? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Okay. And uh, she, when she made the last move of the control, she stood up and um, I kept thinking because I'm, I felt I was completely lost. But then, then I saw something. Yeah. And... Okay. Let, let, let's ask, let's ask Julian. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Julian, okay. it looks so helpless, the, the position, right? The queen c6 was played. I don't exactly understand what's the point of this. Well, probably queen c2 and uh, she wants to remove your queen away. And maybe or later... Or just to go here. Okay, this is hanging. Uh, yeah, but... I, mean, I, I think queen c2 is the idea. Or queen c4 maybe, right? Or just... Also, she can take here at some point maybe. Could be, could be, could be, yeah. could be. She keeps the eye over the rook. But mm -hmm. we must be creative because chess is a creative sport and look for the hidden resources. Julian, do you see something here for black? Some last mm. hope activity? Last chance activity? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think? What are you looking but, at? But I need to think one moment because okay. it's too risky. <laughs> we have to take risks. Yeah. If you don't risk, you don't drink champagne, right? Champagne. <laughs> 
That's true. That's true. But on the um, on the other hand, I have no other option. So <laughs> yeah, this floor is lying here in this position. I mean, I have nothing. I have just no move, no other move. I will say, I will say, knight takes f4. Yeah, and now? Yes. Open, because the queen has got here, and there's no attack. So I open all the things to attack. Yeah, incredible. I mean, rook g8, the most, the worst piece in the position, suddenly <laughs> is becoming the main attacker, and the g-file is opening. That was, like, fantastic. At some point, she played here correctly she was defending position well like queen c2 check uh, king h2 and queen f1 and it seems like that white covers this square this is also under protection and it's time to start counter-attacking with the extra piece and it seems like okay still everything is under control but the next move is really very i would say very harmonic move like a multifunctional move um, I will just show that move. I just want to do it very much. Like rook e5. five. So, yeah. of course, I need this rook for other functions. So I'm using the another rook for covering the mate. But it's not only covering the mate or just taking here. At the same time, white cannot continue counter-attacking with the rook b7. Because what happens? What happens? Yeah, the question to, to Julian. Uh, queen takes h3 and queen h5, uh, rook fantastic. h5. Fantastic, fantastic, yeah. yeah. So white has to play h4, queen e1, the double attack as I understand here, um, queen f2, queen b4, and this is the moment when white is losing game. Uh, she could keep uh, defending position by first capturing on the f4 uh, and then capturing the rook. But somehow white captures on the e5, probably she was already tired defending on, she was down on time probably. And of course this position is just lost, I have extra pawn and white king is completely open, right? Yes, okay. just impossible to okay. lose. Okay, well fantastic, we had, we had in plans to see actually more games here, but unfortunately it takes too long and now our session will be over. So today we need to stop. But well, let's make a second chapter in the near future, okay? About this topic and continue. And yeah, Anna. One last question, one last question here. If she plays instead of, uh, um, instead of h4, if she plays this, uh, how is the mate? Because it was very beautiful. Oh. If this is what she missed really, I think. Ah, this is what she missed. I think this is what you missed because oh the Oh my idea god, I see uh, it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, rook h5 and then rook g3. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is what she missed, I think. Wow, okay. Ah, she wanted first of all like oh, she created threat to the f6 and at the same time queen f2 looks like everything is defended. But actually nothing is defended. Wow. Okay. Yeah, rook, rook g3. Uh, I remember that I, in the first moment, I I could not find rook g3, and I thought everything was just um, just uh, my imagination. But then I saw rook g3, and I I said, okay, I can do that. Wow, that beautiful, very beautiful. Okay, thank you, thank you guys for this video, and uh, let's continue the second chapter in the next one. See you soon. Okay, thanks to you. Bye-bye. Thank you. you. Bye-bye.